Well, the final uh, check will be made uh, this morning because yesterday uh, the players came in, uh, everybody felt all right. Uh, we have some uh, doubts uh, is, uh, about the doubts we have are about uh, Sanya. We have a test today, and after that, I will make the decision do I take him with us or not. Are you optimistic? I'm optimistic, but it's my nature. Uh, Lucas Podolski, where's he in this comeback? He's uh, available. I feel him still a bit short, you know, to go into uh, uh, a match of that uh, level of intensity. But uh, after this weekend, I think for I will consider him uh, just to uh, be available. Is this your biggest test of the season? Yeah, because it's the next one. And uh, that... Uh, it is a, a game where we can make a difference with everybody and uh, what uh, we want to do is just to be ourselves with our quality, with our spirit, with our attitude and uh, want to get the result. High scorers in the Premier League versus the best defence in the Premier League. Is this the biggest test of your back line as well? Cause that's what's going yeah, because you know I've been questioned so many times about our defence when uh, you say to me that we are the best defence in our league, I think you speak about uh, somebody else. But uh, uh, we, are, we like to score goals, we like to go forward and we want, of course, to score goals. But as you said, Man City can do that as well. So both teams will certainly uh, produce top-level performances defensively. But as well, not forget, I believe that uh, Pellegrini is an offensive uh, manager, I'm as well, so you should, be inter should see interesting things on the offensive level as well. How do you stop Manchester City at the Etihad in the Premier League? Played 7 1 7, 29 goals. Is there we make them believe they play away. <laughs> <laughs> but is there a way that you have to play against them under? Look, I, uh, I believe, first of all, uh, as I just said, you need a strong defensive performance. And uh, Maybe the best way to do that is uh, to attack and uh, us have the ball and uh, let them not uh, find their flow. Um, how do you see the title race at the moment? How many teams are still involved? I, I don't look at it like that. I think we have an opportunity to make a difference uh, with everybody else. Tomorrow morning, early, we play first. And uh, we have an opportunity to go from five to eight and uh, that's uh, fantastic. We have to look at it like that. How important is this period in a, a title race? I know it's only, say, three or four games up to Christmas and New Year, but psychologically is it worth Yes, of that? course. Uh, every, look, uh, we, I don't deny that every game uh, has a vital importance because of uh, the influence on the confidence, on the belief of the team. And uh, we just, uh, I believe what you just want from your team is to show during this period, a huge level of commitment and belief. And uh, that can make a massive difference. Uh, but the period is important. You're saying um, Podolski uh, is perhaps a, a bit short. What about Theo Walcott? How close is he to starting? And is he someone that... Look, uh, honestly, I haven't made that decision, but uh, it took him a while to get back to a real sharpness. Uh, uh, since this week, he looks to me uh, uh, that he has found back his normal level. He comes from a surgery, you know, and it took him a while to get back again to his full power. You won't need reminding, but there's less than three weeks to the opening of the transfer window. Mm -hmm. Given the um, success of the, the big signing of, of, of Mesut Ozil, um, are the funds there? Is your uh, wish that you want to go out and do it again? Look, uh, we'll assess that situation in January at the moment. Uh, we are, like every club, focused on the short term and for us uh, uh, what uh, is vital at the moment is tomorrow's game. On the transfer market, usually January is a lot of, uh, is more talks than concrete uh, signings, you know. And uh, if you look well, even the clubs who struggled last season not to go down, even those who bought a lot, you realise that uh, it doesn't help a lot. Any movement on the, the new contract? There was talk that once Arsenal had qualified for the knockout stage. No, that's not nothing. Not linked at all with that. So, 
things still as they are. You're very relaxed about, uh, about it, but nothing new. I'm very relaxed and focused and committed. <laughs> Presumably you have one kind of proper training session between Napoli and, and Man City. What do you do in that session? How do you prepare when you've got so little time? Look, uh, we do mostly uh, recovery because uh, when you play Wednesday night and Saturday morning uh, on a physical front and tactical front, you can not do a lot, you know, but uh, uh, basis, the basis is uh, all targeted on recovery. Is fatigue a problem at all, do you think, in the squad at the moment? No, not on the medical analysis that we have, you know, uh, it's quite sophisticated now, we don't see any sign. And the signs we see on the players uh, who are beat, uh, I can rest them.